Canada is considered a global leader when it comes to wealth and resources. However, in just the first quarter of this year, its inflation rate accelerated tremendously due to pandemic-related challenges and the ongoing state of conflict between Western countries. In light of these unfortunate events, members of the Church of Christ here in the eastern part of Canada fully prepared and united themselves in an Aid to Humanity project. In commemoration of the 136th birth anniversary of God's Messenger, Brother Felix Y. Manalo, the Brethren in the District of Ottawa, Canada, united in helping over 100 Ukrainians, Afghans, and other refugees affected by the recent civil unrest by means of launching back-to-back -back aid to humanity projects in three different regions of eastern Canada. Jean de Brebeuf College in Greater Montreal, a community centre located in the Maritimes, and a hall at Holiday Inn Hotel in Rideau Region were where the simultaneous humanitarian aid was conducted. Hundreds of care packages with food supplies and personal products were distributed to invitees who were coming from various organisations, such as the Immigrant Women's Services and Vanier Community Services Centre. Lingup was also extended to Ukrainian and French-Canadian refugees who expressed positive emotions towards the good cause extended to them. Uh, what we're doing, there are certain things we will not be able to provide. For example, the donations that you bring us to help a lot of clients to start their life and have a uh, new life here in Canada. It's very important. Thank you to the volunteers of the Felix I. Manalo Foundations and to Brother Ecuador V. Manalo. I think it's, it's a wonderful thing that the church is doing. With the current situation of the world, especially in countries experiencing terror and war, refugees from Ukraine were able to find hope and comfort from the members of the Church very, of Christ around them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very good that there are people so kind who, who can understand us and who support us. So we are very thankful. The food parcels and other essential items that were handed out may be of help momentarily, but the gesture of kindness by the brethren leaves a lasting impression in the hearts of those whom they have helped. I'm really grateful that I'm here and uh, I, I, I could join this event. It is so grateful and special thanks to Brother Eduardo V. Manalo and uh, yeah. Although separated by distance and coming from different walks of life, the individuals who received these care packages were seeking for a common thing, and that is a community who will stand for them in situations of financial problems and civil unrest. I would like to congratulate and thank Brother Eduardo Manalo for such a wonderful initiative that is clearly doing great good, not just in the Philippines, but across the world. And we can see it here today with the initiative in Montreal. So congratulations to Brother Eduardo Manalo. So we were shocked that like you had so many bags of food and stuff and it's just like when Ukrainian people started to go for them like everyone like uh, just uh, grabbed like five or even six bags and we were really shocked because we were thinking that one person one bag but it just like gave everything and it is so charming thank you. We value this donation so much and we know how much efforts and time you put in organizing these gifts and in um, having us come here today us and so thank you very much for all your help this event it was very energetic lots of very positive vibes lots of support for it the network seems very strong and very confident of supporting people they've obviously done it before they know what they're doing and it's a wonderful message that they bring as well this Ling Up Samama Mayan, or Aid to Humanity project, was also acknowledged by the different local government officials and representatives present in the event and who witnessed the heartwarming volunteering actions of the members of the Church of Christ. I'd like to thank uh, Brother Eduardo for really inspiring people uh, to really give of their time and their effort and of course their hard-earned money uh, to support their brothers and sisters who are in need. District Supervising Minister, Brother Jose Pedrozon II, had this to say. Uh, our recipients in these past few days were of uh, countries that have been uh, affected 
not only by the economy, but even civil unrest, which is why with God's mercy, we have uh, most of our recipients coming from Afghanistan and Ukraine who are in the headlines today. And they're very appreciative of what Brother Eduardo V. Manalo has done for the church and even for them whom they have not even met personally. Giving back is a great way to get to know one's community and its members. As for our brethren, it is also a strong tool when it comes to sharing their faith to others. From Montreal, Quebec, I'm Sister Laura Bridget Ibanez for the Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network.